Uh, amazing experience. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure everybody will say that. <laughs> um, I think um, it's also we kind of in learning from each other. So that's the, actually that's the amazing experience to me because um, I'm came from China. Um, I know Chinese music, but with the group you can learn so many different um, you know, uh, other cultures. We, we, all of us, I think we gained a lot of knowledge about, about other country, other culture, and the music. I think I, I feel I'm, I'm more mature, we'll say that, more mature, be a more mature uh, musician, yes. Well, China, China is a huge country, and um, we have so many, uh, so many varieties, so many different nationalities. Um, it, it's just as amazing to see, uh, you know, from western part of China, the music, how similar with the, with the Central Asian music. And, uh, you know, we have Mongolian music as well, so everything is related to me. So I think um, it's interesting to let people to know, actually, Chinese music is not Chinese music. You know, for example, my instrument, this is, this is a pipa, it's actually, we say Chinese, Chinese instrument, but it came from Central Asia. So it's everything, it's related to each other. How did you first uh, become attracted to the pipa as an instrument? Um, my parents, <laughs> my parents, um, they, they choose, they pick it up for me. Was that the instrument you wanted to play at first? Uh, sure not. <laughs> um, I actually, you know, same as, you know, all the girls wanted to dance, wanted to sing. Um, I really interested in dance, and, uh, um, but my, my parents really pushed me, because uh, they loved music, and they pushed me to, to pick this instrument. But later on, I, I really uh, uh, thankful to them, yes. This is, this is a pipa, and uh, the four st with the four strings, uh, this is the tuning, A, D, E, A, and of course the very, very long history, probably exists in China more than 2,000 years, and the play with the, f with the fingers, you see I, I use the plastic fingernails, and uh, um, with all the frets, play just like a banjo or guitar, it's a plucking instrument, but a lot of tremolo, a lot of techniques. Uh, with the four strings and the tuning is A, D, E, A. This is the low, and this is the high, high is E. The best key for this instrument will, major will be, will be best. C major, D major, G major, F major. And anything with a flat or sharp, it's, a, it's hard, it's difficult to make the, the, vo the, the, the voice come out. Okay. You see low note, very loud. So basically it's even. It's very even. Yes. yes. Okay. Because all the frets, I have all the frets. Right. So I could play every key you have those notes. in those ranges right, right. because of the tuning limited right. so those those only two D and E so sometimes if you play you, it's jump just too much right. too, too too big right. so okay um I, what kind of uh when you do play chords obviously yes. um how common is that are there two note chords are there triads the four note chords what, Four is fine, but mostly the last one will be open. Four. It's a very 
rest of it. Yeah, that's not Chinese, but you could do that. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Mostly typical if we do. We will do. But for compose, uh, I think most of the compose just leave there, and let the performers to right. to intertape, you know, to do to add it to this ornamentation. Right. Uh, like like yeah. could it be that, and it could be uh, two two strings twist together, very percussive sound. That's you know all the traditional piece we have, and a lot of tr uh, strumming like. Or you can hit, or you can, it's, you know, do very percussive, right. something like that.